Hey, what's up? It's HJ, and today I want to talk to you about something that I just learned in my life recently, as in like the year of 2016. So there was a time in my life that I went through um, handling my sin by just praying really hard, all the snot running, all the tears running down my face, hands like this, hands like this, hands like this, like, cause you know, the higher, the holier, right? So just Jesus, help me Lord, begging God, to all in an instant immediately take sin from my heart. Lord, make me not desire it. Lord, take it away from me. Take it, take it, take it away. My sexual sin, my lust, my anger, my pride, it just didn't seem to be moving no matter how hard I was crying. And I thought, okay, there has to be something missing here. There was also, after that, another time in my life where I wasn't praying for God to help me with my sin struggles and I was just working, working, working my butt off to not participate in these sins. I'm not going to look in the direction of a man because I will not lust. I'm not going to talk to any boy ever on the face of the universe because I will not fall to sexual temptation. I'm not gonna ever disagree with anyone ever because I don't want to have anger and if I do feel these emotions, I'm just gonna tell myself, no, you don't feel this. No, this isn't real. No, walk away now and nothing at all was changing inside of my heart. And if you've ever been somebody that is completely to the left or somebody who's completely, completely to the right, then this is the vlog for you. We have to understand that sanctification is not a passive thing that we can't just sit around like I used to do and beg Jesus to change our hearts make me more like you Jesus make me more like you and never actively pursue holiness and expect to be more holy I can't save myself I can't save myself coming to my rescue is what you do so well okay uh, Philippians 3 12 through 14 not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Jesus Christ has made it his own. Press on, active word. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God and Jesus Christ. Press on, strain forward, press on. So sanctification is not a passive thing, it's an active thing. Obviously it's all over scripture because God says like, pray without ceasing, to work out, to work, to walk, and um, it uses a bunch of active words like repent, okay? Repent is something that you do. You actively repent regularly, continuously to Christ for your sin and that helps and aids in your sanctification. It it's kind of like the steam to a steam engine of your sanctification, right? It keeps the train going. We're repenting of our sin. We're seeing that we're sinful. We're not desiring it. We're choosing Christ. And we're being made more holy and more holy and more holy. Whenever we're saved, we're a new creation, but sin is still present in this world, right? We still have to go outside of our doors, inside of our own homes every day and battle sinful desires, battle sin in this world, be in this world and not of it, only because God gives us the desire to, right? So we're not negating that God gives us the desire, God gives us the help. The undwelling of the Holy Spirit empowers us. So that's this far left, that I started on just got brought to the middle. The empowerment of the Holy Spirit helps us to choose holiness. So that is the healthy medium. We are to fall on our knees. We are to pray to God. God, help me desire holiness. Help me not to desire, um, for me personally right now, help me not to desire to be over my husband. Like, help me desire to submit to him. But then I actively choose to submit to my husband even when I don't want to sometimes. So I'm obeying Christ even when I don't feel like it, but through that I'm saying, God, next time can you help me to feel like it? And that's where sanctification blossoms. That's where we grow. And then I see the faithfulness through that. Oh, whenever I submit to my husband with my role and allow him to be the leader of our marriage with his role, oh, God blesses that. Oh, it actually works out better. Oh, this is the way God designs it. And through that, I'm learning to trust God and I'm learning that if I just choose holiness and because God is good and he's designed things a certain way and I worship him for that and I love him for that and that I grow to be more like him with each 
time, I ask him for his empowerment and then I choose holiness. So it's a perfect in the middle. There's no far left. It's not going to work. There's no far right. It's not going to work. You have to bring it together. And it is the most amazing feeling in the world. I've grown so much just by understanding what this is, like understanding sanctification and how I do have a role in it, but God empowers me to even do that, that I'm nothing without him. It's great. And I can ramble on and I can keep going, but you know what? I'm going to tell you an awesome quote by an awesome guy. Um, every Christian should understand that sanctification takes the most strenuous effort, effort, but is nonetheless totally dependent on God's power. And Johnny Mac said that. John MacArthur, if you don't know who that is, he's awesome. Look him up. Watch his sermons. He will stretch you so hard. I hope this video is has encouraged you to grow in holiness and I love you guys and I'm super excited for 2017 and the videos I'm going to be putting out way more biblically based videos but then also super funny crazy random videos that have nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Um, I just want to do it all. I want to give all of myself to you guys and I'm just really going to work hard. If you enjoyed this video at all whatsoever, make sure to give me a thumbs up and let's talk about it in the comments below. If this is something that helped you, how it helped you. If you don't agree, I don't know. Let's talk about it too. Let's talk about everything in the comments below. I love you guys and... Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post two times a week. And also, last but not least, please share this video on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram, wherever there's human beings that can watch it. Please share because the number one way that a channel grows is through its subscribers sharing its content to people who might not have seen it before. I love you guys. Love you.